for you having a wonderful night. I know. <laughs> Talking about itch. Winter itch uh, comes every time for me. I don't know about you. I have dry skin. Um, I've checked it, but there's really, you know, I, I've been having this from birth. You know, because my dad has really, really dry skin. My sister had it, but she cleared hers up somehow. Uh, she went to the doctor that gave her some special skin cream to, you know, get hers going. But I've um, did some things over the years. I used to, you know, go and get things from the store, which is good. And these, this is one of the things that I use, especially for the feet. Sometimes you're in the car, and all of a sudden it's just like this itch that comes. Make sure you put this in your bag. It's um. To net to can. Um, the way I feel about this, this is good, but you have to keep on spraying it, especially if the skin has piled up, you know, psoriasis, just in the little toes. It seems like it just goes in the toes or whatever, and it just pisses me off. It's like, Lord, no, I'm in the car, I'm on the highway, okay, I can't itch right now, really. And I'm just like stumping and going on. So try this, and also, I don't have that. Uh, the Neva cream with me, but I also find that when you rub a little Neva, it's N-I-E, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description, but and I might come back and talk about it, I don't know. If I don't, well, just go to this uh, Walgreens, they have uh, Neva cream. That seems to be the best uh, thing for like dry skin. I've tried everything over the years. And Neva cream works for me as far as getting the dryness off. Um, I told you about the coconut, um, coconut, um, can't think of it now. Uh, coconut, I want to say coconut butter. No, uh, coconut, uh, I can't think of it, y'all. What's wrong with me? Oh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of it. It's a lotion that I was talking about in my other video, but I can't think of the name of it. Oh my God. Let's see. Uh, coconut butter? No, not coconut butter. Coconut. Cocoa butter. That's it. And it's lotion. Um, I should have brought it in the video, but it's really, it's a, I bought a really, really large uh, bottle of that because I have to have that for like my skin especially my face. Um, actually, you can use it all over the body. That's a really good one, but it doesn't get rid of the itch. It has alcohol in it, but it's, it seems like it's not enough alcohol in there to really, you know, but it seems like it's drawing the skin, making it pretty or whatever, for me, because I have dry skin, so I have to have something with alcohol in it. Not really, but a lot of moisture, put it that way, not alcohol, but uh, but I did notice that it has alcohol in it. So if you have an itch, you can you have to apply it more and more, you know, a lot. Um, but it works over time. But it doesn't really get the itch off. Okay. This um, it it works to a point, but you have to keep spraying it. And I think they need to add whatever works because it does work after a while. But you find yourself spraying this a lot of times, and by the time, I mean over some days, this works. Um, two days to the most, sometimes it just depends on how much skin is piling up on your toes or whatever. And the reason for uh, dry skin is too much scrubbing, you know, scrubbing like, um, you know, just doing the dishes and, you know, no gloves. Um, that can cause it, um, especially if, it, if it's just piling up uh, skin. Uh, itchy hands could be another problem, so you might want to go to the doctor, you know, and see whether it's diabetes because it could be diabetes going on. It's not for me because every year I have this, and I'm really talking to people that have dry skin like me. And you just, golly, it just seemed like, oh my God, here we go again. And um, 
I'm going to come back to that. But anyway, psoriasis happens when skin piles up on the skin. That's what hap That's what's going on. Um, it, it runs in my family pretty much, so I know kind of what to do. But I've found something that works even, I think, even better than what I've been using over the years. But anyway, I'm going to tell you what that is in a minute. Itchiness of the palms here, okay, um, and soles of the feet is a common symptom. It's okay, you know, it's, it's not, you know, something you want to go poo poo about. Soreness now, if you get soreness, go to the doctor. It could be diabetes. I just wanted to put that in. Now, here are some things that worked over the years, but like I said, you have to spray this um, pretty much all day. And then the next day, I mean, I've done this. That's why I know. And sometimes I have to go through two or three cans. That's what, I mean, you, you're wasting money pretty much, you know. So I'm going to tell you what worked for me the other day. Um, my, I get this, I don't know why, but every year is the same thing. And the doctors seem to not know what the answer is. So guess what? I ran into my own answer. <laughs> Okay, and I'm coming to tell you about it. Okay, I did a little experiment. I said, okay, I'm sick of this. And I'm gonna try something different. I cannot, you know, keep buying this over and over or keep it in the stock. I'm just sick of it. It's going up too. It's like the price is, is a little bit, not too high, but you know, if I can say three, four dollars, why not? So I'm gonna tell you this. This I went back because my dad, he used to put Vaseline on me um, as a little girl. And I thought, I should go back to the Vaseline. And when I went to go find Vaseline, I got this. And it's Vaseline Intensive Care. It wasn't the little, remember the little jar with the Vaseline in it? That's what he used to put on me. Because I just get so dry. So he would put that on. And now they have a new advance in this. Now, I tried that Vaseline before, but it used to give me bumps. It's like it was too heavy. But now they have it where it's like liquid, more water in it. See this little, this here? That's the pellets of, um, micro droplets of pellets of water. So they didn't put more water in it. Notice the rich. They have went from this to this now. And I didn't think, and it's non-greasy, non-greasy lotion. The other one, greasy, but it does make you look better. And it used to, you know, you remember when, you know, they put the grass when you know in to make you look really, you know, clean, whatever. And it does do good. But now they have the deep healing moisture. Oh my God, you're talking about works. Okay, what you do is, especially if this itch here, the other day what I did is I took the, oh, I forgot still. <laughs> okay, first you want to take this vinegar, okay, pour it into your hot water, you know, in the tub, you can fill the water up with warm, hot water. And you want to take this pail, or you can take a pail. You can either do it in the tub or do it in a pail. Put your feet in it, okay? Let it soak until you don't feel any more itch, okay? Anymore. Just keep doing it. That's what worked for me. And then you take this towel and dry your feet or dry your hand or whatever. That's what I did. And then once it's dry, then you want to add the lotion. And you talking about relief. It took only like a day or two. And I was like, hey. And I told my mom, I was so excited. I was like, mom, I think I found something that I can use that's cheap. <laughs> And this only costs like what a dollar forty nine at the at the store. And then you just add your lotion for like maybe another two or three dollars. And guess what? You're done with this itch mess.
So this is what I'm going to try for the winter. I know the winter is coming and the fall is coming and I always get that itch. I always get that itch and I don't want that itch. So I thought I would come by and tell you about sharing that with you. Hopefully it helps you. Um, you can find the, this stuff at the Walgreens. You probably can find it at Target, but it might be a little bit higher. You might can find it online. Uh, I don't know really what the cost is online, but you can check online. Now, you can go back to this stuff if you want to. But I'm sticking with the pail of hot water. And it doesn't matter how much vinegar you put in. I mean, you want to put quite a, you know, maybe, maybe a cupful or half a cupful. More like a half a cupful, because that's what I do. I didn't do a cupful, because that's too much. You want mostly hot water, and you want uh, maybe a fourth of a cup of vinegar. Because that's, I did like half a cup of vinegar, but I think the vinegar works better than the alcohol. I really do, because the actually the acid goes in there and eats, and something about the vinegar, y'all, it actually takes the itch out <laughs> over time. It takes about, might take longer or shorter, depending on how much, you know, it has to go in there, but you're going to be so shocked at your feet. My feet were so smooth afterwards. <laughs> I was like, my skin is like baby skin now on the foot because you know how it, you know, gets all weird and red. And the redness was there, but it was so, um, now it's going to itch a little bit, but that's just it coming out of there. So just give, put it back in. If it, if it itches, if it itches, put it right back into the water and just keep on doing it. Every time you feel the itch, put it right back in. If you feel it again, put it back in. That's what I did. And I was shocked. I, I am still shocked that the vinegar worked over the alcohol stuff. And I'm excited and I thought I would tell you guys. But anyway, go try it. Let me know how you felt. You know, try it out. And I mean, your feet just feel so soft after that. It's really, your hands are just like really soft. And, and you know, your feet just soft. And you're like, hey, this is pretty cool. <laughs> but anyway, you guys have a good day. And happy Friday night to you. Good night. Bye.